Hi guys, how's it going? I'm gonna try to do uh, the largest Dutch pour I've ever done. And I have a 12 by 36 canvas and I've laid my base coat of white down and I actually just mixed this white and I thought I had it thin enough but it seems like it's still just a touch too thick. So we'll see how this works. But in the meantime, the colors I'm going to be using are Folk Art Color Shift. Um, get my glasses on so I can see. Orchid. Um, I think it's Orchid. No, pro, uh, Purple Flash, I'm sorry. And I've got some um, Folk Art Color Shift Orchid Flash. That's what it is. And I've got some Folk Art Color Shift Emerald Green or Green Flash. Green Flash. Um, I've got some Deco Art Fiesta Red. I have some Liquitex Ultramarine. Um, let's see. I have some Folk Art Yellow here. I think it's Sunshine Yellow. Um, something like that. I have um, a little bit of Artist Loft uh, light green. And then I have a touch of this red, which I had mixed, and I forget exactly which red I mixed in there. And a little bit of leftover uh, purple. Uh, it's a metallic purple that I'm gonna try to use those two up. And, uh, oh, and I've got gold. I, um, colorations, uh, gold with a little bit of the, um, um, what do you call it? The, uh, stone coat gold in it. I love the stone coat gold. Um, it's, it's to me just like such a, a really vibrant gold. It's so pretty and it leaves all these little, um, uh, like gold flakes right in in the painting itself so we're gonna see how this goes because I have not done anything this big yet or attempted it so let's start with when I get our one of our darker blues down we're gonna get the ultramarine down and I don't have a lot of this left but hopefully I've got enough for today's project There we go. So we got a little bit of blue down. And I think I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of the Fiesta Red, uh, which I'm gonna to have to pour. Um, just because I got a little bit of like all these random colors left over. So then I put some of my uh, regular colors with it to see what I can come up with. So that's a little bit of the Deco Art Fiesta Red. And uh, I'll go in here with a little bit of the uh, Folk Art Yellow. I'm just gonna bring that in here a little bit. And I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of the Flash Purple and see what we get out of this. here with a little bit of this uh, flash green and I'm going to try to keep the green towards the outside of things um, to kind of mimic uh, what would be leaves and so forth and then I'm going to come in here with my orchid pink and this is actually such a pretty color Kind of come in here and get all this laid out. And then the kicker. Um, I'm gonna come in here with a nice healthy dose of gold right down the middle. And then we'll kind of get a little bit of gold over here. And 
that's that. So, I'm trying to decide now. I think I might put just, let's see if this paint is still good. Oops, there we go. Got the top off. And this is a darker color flash purple, or a darker metallic purple, I should say. So I'm just going to come in here with a little bit of this, because I don't know why, but I have an obsession with purple and gold. I have just, like, I, I think those two colors just absolutely go together, no matter how you work them. So I'm going to get a little bit of this darker purple put in with the gold and the orchid, and orchid, I should say. And then we'll see what we can do with all of this mess. So I'm going to come in here with my white, uh, which I just mixed. And I'll put a bead of white over here. And I'll put a bead of white over here. And uh, like I said, the white turned out a little bit thicker than I wanted. And where's, ah, here's my torch. Come in here and give this baby a torch. Get some of these um, air bubbles out of here before I start uh, using the, uh, the hair dryer. Um, just so it's got a little less bubbles to start with and there'll be less bubbles and aggravation down the road. So, it's going to get loud for a minute, so I apologize, but I have my handy-dandy um, uh, handleless uh, hair dryer, which I'm really actually quite pleased with. So I'm just going to come in here and work on covering as much of this up as I can. stuff I did not get to.
sort of really pleased with this. Um, I like the distribution of colors. I still have a little bit more paint on the canvas than I'd like, so I'm going to try to push a little bit more paint off and uh, see what we get. better. I got a little bit more paint moved around and uh, I'm actually really kind of liking this color combo. Get my sides here colored a little bit. Um, see what I can do here on the sides. And I think I'm going to call this one done in a day. Okay. Let's bring my colors down over the sides. Make sure I get all my sides covered. And uh, I think that's going to be it. I have never tried a, uh, a Dutch pour this large. In fact, I'm actually pretty new to Dutch pours, so this was me going way out on the limb trying something that uh, is sort of a newer technique in my wheelhouse, but also um, a fun technique. And I was actually able to use up a little bit of my leftover paints that I had from other projects. So I'm reasonably pleased. I like the way the colors play with each other. Um, I like the softness of it. There's softness and yet there's boldness to it. And I like that. And I'm gonna come in here with my torch. Like I said, I think this would have been even better if I had thinned out my white just a little bit more. But um, I'm not going to kick a dead horse. So I'll, I'm just going to take what I got and, and be thankful for that. Um, you know, because I think as artists, we often tend to be overly critical of our own work. Um, so I'm trying not to be too critical of what I created. But I'm liking, I'm really, really liking the colors. I think that they played very, very nicely with each other. And I'm even getting baby cells, which gives me an idea for the future. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you. I hope you go out on a limb and try something different. Try something new outside of your wheelhouse, whether it's colors or canvas size or technique. But explore all of the options available because you're not limited by anything but your imagination. As long as you can think of it, you can probably do it. So I hope this gives everybody a smile and have a very, very nice and safe Memorial Day weekend. Bye, y'all.